Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, 2022. I'm Hallie from Miss McMichael's class, and I will be your news anchor today. We will now observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets and cheese or yogurt platter. Side items include fresh garden salad, seasoned corn, and assorted fruit. Now let's go to Ms. Keltner and Ms. Keene for a few announcements. Good, Good morning, morning, Trailblazers. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. We're almost yep. to Friday. Seven more days after today until spring break, but who's counting, right, Trailblazers? <laughs> All right. Take it away, Miss Keene, with the most important news of the day. All right. Our birthday celebrations. Happy birthday to Theodore A., Caitlin B., and Owen K. So Happy head on birthday. down to the front office so we can celebrate your special day with you. And that is it for my celebrations okay, today. Okay, for today. Maybe yep. we'll get some more tomorrow yes. then. All right. Before I forget... This water bottle was left, and it's totally hilarious. Listen to your llama, drink your water, and hold the drama. I love it. So if this is your water bottle, it's down here at WDTS. Come pick that up. A reminder to everybody, we are still without a school nurse, so please be uh, discriminate. Send emergencies only. Check those boo-boos and see what you can handle in class. Um, The office ladies would really appreciate that. Also, PTO wants to recognize Jimmy and Ruth Ann Glisson together as the March Volunteers of the Month. They always volunteer together and have been consistently giving at least one day a week to help out in the Media Center. And I know they were both out here for our Trailblazer Fitness Adventure. So thank you to thank Mr. You. and Ms. Gleason for all your support. All right, let's see. Read Across America Day. I was mistaken. I was off a day reading what everybody was doing. But today, first grade, says reading is the goal. Sport your favorite team so they're in their best sporting gear. Uh, let's see. Kindergarten is reading the book Giraffes Can't Dance. Hmm, that sounds like a good book. Second grade is reading the Patchwork Quilt by Valerie Florney, and they'll have students bring in special blankets or quilts to partner read outside. Oh, get some pictures of that for me, third grade. That sounds great. Excuse me, second grade. Third grade, they are dropping everything and read at some, reading some at some point today. I'm trying to read too fast, so get some pictures of that. Also, fourth grade, they're doing a read aloud. What pet should I get? And they're doing a writing activity to practice their F essay writing, I'm <laughs> sure. And then fifth grade, they just have a variety of books that they are going to be reading um, throughout the day today. So celebrate a nation of diverse readers. So I think they just have um, a wide variety of books and maybe a worksheet to do. So enjoy the Read Across America activities today. We're also highlighting Sandra Day O'Connor as our Women in History. Ronald Reagan appointed Sandra o- Day O'Connor as the first female Justice of the Supreme Court to the United States in 1981. So um, Um, I thought there was a picture of her going up, but if you look her up and you tell me a little bit more about her, you might get a special treat in the front office. And speaking of special treat, we now have Lorraine Fletcher from Ms. DuPont's third grade class. She has a report speaking of VIP women in history about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So Lorraine, take it away. In 
1940, Young Ruth's neighborhood was vibrant. There were tons of immigrants around the world. There were people from Italy, Ireland, England, Poland, and Germany. There were Jews, too, like Ruth's father, Nathan Bader. Even with people with different cultures and food, had something alike. Boys were expected to grow up, go out in the world, and do big things. Girls, girls were expected to find husbands. Ruth's mother disagreed. One day, Ruth was on a car ride with her family, and they needed a hotel. Her parents found one, but it said no Jews. Ruth was upset. She needed a stand. In elementary school, Ruth was good in some classes. She was bad in handwriting class. She got a D. Once she cried... But then she protested. She wrote with her left hand the day forward. On Ruth's graduation day, Ruth's mother, Celia Bader, died. There was nothing to it. She did not go to her graduation ceremony, and she did not tell her speech. Three months later, she knew her mother would want her to go to college, so she attended college. A few years later, Ruth got married, went to law school, and had a baby named Jane. In Ruth's law school, there were nine women and 500 men. One day, Ruth went to court to fight equal treatment for women. From that day forward, girls looked up to Ruth. Ruth's husband cooked the meals, and Ruth's kids and Ruth loved it. Ruth became a lawyer. Then the president, Jimmy Carter, said that Ruth could be a judge, and she agreed. Very good. I think those are some interesting details, Lorraine, because I didn't know that her husband did most of the cooking. I can say I, my husband does more of the cooking <laughs> today. I think the world has changed. But um, what, do you, what is one thing that um, is iconic about her that you could recognize Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Do you know something like a symbol of her by any chance um. when you were doing your research? I got it from a book that my mom gave me, but... Um, the symbol I saw is like that her whole family disagreed about the new rule that boys should do like everything and girls should right. only find husbands. Gotcha. I like that. But have you seen her lace collars? That would be another yeah. thing, yeah, that I think people are, you know, recognize about her too. But yeah, definitely a champion for women's mm -hmm. rights. Thank you, Lorraine. I hope Thank you get a little you. extra credit from Mr. Pont for that report. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for coming down. All right, are we ready, Trailblazers? All right. That's, That's it, it for today's, today's edition of WDTS. WDTS. Make, Make today's, today's mission possible by building your bridge to success. success. Bye. Bye.